Samsung reportedly is in talks with Tesla to create the next generation of computer chips for self-driving cars, according to sources. This comes amid Tesla's announcement of plans to release new full self-driving hardware 4.0, which is expected to arrive next year for the first time in Cybertruck. The Korean Economic Daily reports Samsung tech giant has apparently outrivaled top foundry player TSMC to win the transaction sources say. I'm going to bring all the details that the Korean Economic Daily reports. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And also please give us thumbs up if you like this video and find it interesting. So 13 hours ago, Samsung uh, Korean Economic Daily reported that Samsung Electronics, the world's leading chip maker will manufacture Tesla's next generation hardware 4, hardware 4.0 chip for the top US electric car makers fully autonomous driving technology. According to multiple industry sources on Thursday today, Samsung is certain to be bigger foundry rival Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, which is TSMC, to win Tesla's contract. Here's a quote I want to share with you. Tesla and Samsung's foundry division have been working on the design and samples of the chip from the start of this year. Recently, Tesla decided to outsource the hardware 4.0 self-driving chip to Samsung. It's virtually a done deal, said one of the sources to Korean Economic Daily. Samsung Electronics plans to mass produce the Tesla hardware 4.0 chip at its main Hwasung plant in Korea using the 7 nanometer processing technology in the fourth quarter of this year at the earliest, according to the sources. The 7 nanometer process, which I just mentioned, is less advanced than its 5 nanometer process, but Samsung has decided to use the 7 nanometer technology to ensure higher production yields and stable functions of the chip when installed on full self-driving cars. Uh, that's what Samsung told. Tesla and Samsung agreed on the seven nanometer process to ensure the safety of Tesla's next generation electric vehicles, said another source to Korean Economic Daily. Hardware 4.0 or HW 4.0, dubbed the Full Self-Driving Computer 2, is the successor of the hardware, hardware 3.0 chip used in Tesla's current electric vehicles. The hardware 3.0 chip was manufactured by Samsung. The expected partnership between Samsung and Tesla comes amid media reports from Taiwan that Tesla was working on the production of its hardware 4.0 chip with TSMC, the world's largest foundry chip maker. However, sources said Tesla decided to partner with Samsung for the production of its next generation autopilot chip after taking into account factors such as production cost, the possibility of long-term cooperation, and the availability of Samsung technology in Tesla designing its own chips. Now, I understand the production cost. I understand the availability of Samsung, this current technology in Tesla designing its own chip. But I have a question. What is it that is uh, uh, the that it says the possibility of long term cooperation? The possibility. So the, the, it is what is it that makes Samsung possible for long term cooperation and doesn't make the TSMC possible for long term cooperation? If you guys have any idea, let me know. Are there any um, maybe political or business or geographical issues there? I don't know. Now, back in 2016, the United States electric vehicle giant Tesla started building a team of chip architects to develop its own silicon and design design efficient chips for self-driving. Industry officials said Samsung's strengthened partnership with Tesla will enhance its presence in the global foundry market as the US company aims to expand its fully autonomous electric vehicle lineup. Tesla 
plans to unveil its all-electric pickup, the Cybertruck, in late 2022 and has already received 1.2 million units in pre-orders. The hardware 4.0 computer is widely expected to be mounted on the Tesla Cybertruck. Several car makers are set to offer electric pickups in the coming years, in line with the Biden administration's push for half of new cars sold in the United States to be electric by 2030. Hyundai Motor Corporation, Korea's top automaker, also plans to roll out an electric version of the Santa Cruz pickup, its first truck model for the American market, to enter the hotly contested segment. Samsung is the world's second largest foundry player but has been struggling to narrow the wide market share gap with the bigger competitor TSMC from Taiwan. The Korean tech giant is known to be spending over 10 trillion won which is 8.5 billion US dollars annually in its foundry business since 2019, but its global foundry market share has largely been stuck in the 10% range. According to market researcher Trend Force, TSMC is the biggest foundry player controlling 52.9% of the global market as of the second quarter, followed by Samsung with a 17.3% market, market share. While TSMC counts Apple and Advanced Micro Devices AMD, among its major customers, Samsung is striving to strengthen its partnerships with technology companies such as Google and Amazon. Earlier this month, Google said its Pixel 6 smartphone, set to be released in October, will be equipped with the Tensor chip that it has developed. Google has partnered with Samsung over the design and production of the application process chip. China's top handset maker Xiaomi is also said to be working with Samsung to develop an AP chip for its smartphones. TSMC and Samsung have been upping the ante to stay ahead by advancing technology and expanding facilities, particularly in the United States. While TSMC plans a $37 billion US investment to expand the and upgrade its foundry facilities in North America, Samsung said in May it will invest $17 billion US dollars in the United States to build a next generation foundry plant. You probably have heard that Samsung is building that uh, a factory in Tesla, according to industry officials. Taylor, a city in Williamson County of Tesla at uh, Texas, is the most likely site for Samsung's new foundry plant. Taylor is about 50 kilometers, which is what, about 30 miles northeast of Austin, where Samsung's currently foundry facilities are located. And Austin is the place where, of course, Tesla is building its Cybertruck Giga factory, uh, Austin, uh, Giga Texas. Analysts expect Samsung's foundry business to post more than 1 trillion won in operating profit next year, with its market share rising above 20% up from an estimated 300 billion Korean won this year. Now, uh, friends, I will let you to con convert that to uh, US dollars. Uh, now, global foundry market is forecast to exceed 100 billion US dollars this year from 87.3 billion in 2020, according to semiconductor market research firm uh, IC Insights. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about all these developments? While the specific details of the new hardware have not been disclosed. Elon Musk hinted that it provides about four times the computer power of hardware 3.0. That is, if hardware 3.0 is 300% safer driving a car than a person, then hardware 4.0 for Tesla will drive a car 1000% safer. So I would love to hear your comments on this. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you soon in our next report.